Good morning everyone, my name is Chris from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Fronts of Britannia, our East Anglia campaign or the North Sea Empire campaign as we are getting closer to finishing it getting the ultimate victory we are now settling in place we're trying to just make sure that we are prepared for the grand battle and ending the war that's on the edge right here let's see what buildings we could upgrade or not at the moment let's focus actually on the troops make sure that their quality is as high as possible maybe even recruit a few troops would be a good idea we have a 20 stack here we have an 18 stack here we could give them two more cav units so that they'll be replenished by the time invaders come that's all the money we have left we have no armies over here that could move Let's end the turn. Let's see what YCX is doing. Or the Wessex Kingdom is doing. He is raiding us for some reason. I mean for the gold, but... Oh, he's sieging us actually. Troubling rumors. An independent merchant vessel de brings disturbing news to the royal court. Hundreds of ships carrying thousands of men have been seen amassing in the harbors of our distant neighbors. These navies appear to be more than just simple raiding forces. They could even be building up for a full-blown invasion. Perhaps they have no interest in the Isles, but we should prepare for the worst. They're getting closer. More than we bargained for, we get some penalties with our neighbors. Helen became an arbitrator with two governance and plus one to loyalty. Hartaknut became exemplar, minus 50% of having children, Erika Hagler, minus 6% to recruiting costs, and this guy again with plus one to command and plus one to influence. Who's this general? It's not him. Let's upgrade these troops. Let's see if this battle is even worth doing. Well, he's running. And I don't think it is. Let's just do one of these quick auto resolves. We've lost some troops. We're My gonna replenish them. Advanced I'll put this guy in the cell now just for one turn and south. then we go ahead and we besiege the nearby city. Give him points into Quartermaster. Bring Berfrun on this side. We might actually go together and besiege the settlement. Hmm, might be a good idea. Let's see how we progress further in. We want to recruit a few more troops. Here, so we we don't have enough Axemen. That's what we need. Maybe another unit. Like this. I think now we are prepared with this army as well. Let's take a look here to the we north. What do they don't have? Another cab unit could come in handy. Some swords would be good as well. And then we have a smaller army, a 10 stack army right here. Which we could use some more axemen. We have skirmishers, a cab unit. We could bring some of these guys in as well, right? Berserkers. Or Danelaw Huskars. Let's do that. We're spending a lot of money, but we need to do so in order to increase our strength in the area. For this particular settlement, let's see, we have 2000 gold left. Linden Siege, we are able to upgrade the meeting house to a meeting house from an ale house. It's a pretty nice area, I want to keep pushing uh, at increasing its income, make the most pretty beautiful city that we have available. And the turn, see what's gonna happen next, they've recruited a 14 stack army, so they still have a lot of gold in their, 
midst. Cat yield, acrimonious, we don't want him to do that. Let's remove one influence from our king. The from lost the loyalty from being too influential and stuff. Dire tidings. Grave news indeed. Our scouts are reporting a, that massive navies are setting sail for Britannia. We must reinforce our borders and coastline before it's too late. Getting closer. Hopefully, as I said, he's 69 now. Our king is 69. And hopefully he will have a chance to fight with these raiders. Uh, we could actually... We will bring fear. So what I can do now victory. is bring this guy here. And if we engage this army they that is tonight. outside the walls, they will have to reinforce with the rest of the troops. That's making us, giving us a huge battle. You know what? It's not necessary. But let's do it. Let's have this grand battle outside of their walls. With three armies or two armies, because this general doesn't have anything special on him. Two versus two. I am very excited to get this campaign to a close. Like, I'm happy that I kept it constant for so long. And that we've managed to do some wonderful things in this particular campaign, like we've set up some goals and really learn what we could do better in the future. And I'm actually looking forward to our next campaign where we can put to to the test what we've just learned to, to do, right? Like try to manage our land better, maybe focus on a different type of economy. We will probably keep the same goals like Kingdom Victory and Fame Victory more than the Conquest ones. I, what I'm gonna do first of all is charge his royal companions right here. The enemy tremble before our superior numbers. Let's climb the hill because they are getting close to us. If I take this group, I say control group on you just to fix this position we can run on the hill before his reinforcements come but let's see <laughs> let's see the, if there will reply well it was a pretty good charge however their troops are tough nah they're not that tough we have reinforcing armies right here. The tent of battle is on the way. Horsemen! Let's run them the enemy over is here. Dead. The enemy general is dead. We've just vanquished. Their general giving them. them. Well, their general, yeah, they get a slight penalty for morale. Like you can see, this troop. Is at 29 now it has a red bar in the left side meaning that for a little bit they have this penalty for the general being dead and they do have other generals nearby so it's not gonna count for too much our cavalry is active so we might be able to engage these male swordsmen axemen over on this side let's bring in the other cav as well Right order. And see what's going to be our goal. They are tired, they are depleted. Do they have another reinforcing army other than these two? Or if this is everything that they have? As if this is everything that they have, well let me tell you that they're not it's not enough. Swordsmen! Let's advance on him. Let's engage. Bring them. Crush them. Make them pay. Cut them. Axemen. Mm -hmm. Where's the fight? Militia. Militia. Bring that. You two go engage him. 
with you to engage them. Axeman, come on this side and support that cap. Spearman, I want you to come on this side and probably engage that scout cap. And with the archers, I don't know, I'm just gonna push you through. Just do some random skirmishing while the rest of the troops will come to the front line. Good. Male swordsman, horseman got charged. I'm gonna use this troop to come from behind him. They're bringing some spearmen in, and those are tough spears. Let's see, actually, let's get away. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Speed it up! Speed it up. Let's move away with the cab from the level 3 spears. Okay, run, run. Run away with the cab. We've missed one cap there. Apparently they're using they are using their cavalry over on this side. How are we on this? Let's keep advancing. Hey. Oh, they'll be so tired by the time they arrive. But you come there. Spearman, you come here. So those spearmen engage those X-Men. For the cab, you come through here. Drive your Ready. Hurry. Our foes will no. like the wind. Do Hold not up. do that. Do Boston. not engage spearmen. We're getting very close. <laughs> yeah, those troops. <laughs> Those troops will be so tired by the time they reach this area. Perfect. Perfect. I think they're doing pretty well here. But they are tough. These spears are pretty... They have good armor on them. So even having to fight Axemen is a challenge. Yeah, let's bring more cap to the front. So one now. General, you come engage there. And X-Men engage here. You, you are not engaged, not really. Or at least you could do a better job. You go there, you go there. I want... I want our cap to do some cleanup. I guess you long X-Men go reinforce that side. Done pretty well here. Let's go on that side. And now let's just do a quick forward. That's it. An interesting battle. Not challenging, as I said. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward that in the next campaign we bump up the difficulty. Both on the campaign map and in the battle. Maybe this way it was going to give them a better chance of fighting us. Okay, we wanna... I don't know. 
ransom and release. At this Where's point, when we are attacking, we are not going to have a great battle on our hands, so we're just gonna Strike build that now. and use this unit to go here. Skills available to, the end. to our newest general. He's schooled from court school building, gaining one influence and one command. He has enough points in quartermaster, we're gonna give him points into champion. No, he's just a one unit army. Here we have enough troops. Let's check the north. We're going to give you... He has no swordsman, so we're going to provide him with one. Two, maybe on the next turn. Give him one more cap. Traits. Skill commander. Good from the general attack and fought in melee and one. A fear of failure. Game from attacking a weaker target. <laughs> Plus due to command. So he's always going for the advantageous battles. On building, Linden Siege. Let's continue making this a great economical area. With more salt, with more buildings in regards to that. Yeah, let's make a farm as well. Why not? What else should we do? At this point I think we do, we're just waiting. We're waiting for the invaders to come to us. More public order from successful propaganda. Godwin plans for defense. From tools building chains he gained plus one siege attrition time when under siege and shield effectiveness. That's nice. Uh, this guy became a teacher, plus one to governance and plus one to melee skill from the court school building. That's nice. Construction complete. We are now, we have two public order over here. So I think everybody's okay with the current level of taxes. Yep. Can we push one more? No, that would be too much. Let's go to what else? We have now professional archers giving us more range for our missile units and more upkeep and less cost to recruit. But you know, the extra range is okay, I guess. We don't really care for it. We Our focus was not on archers, but it's going to be with one of our future troops. Like, look, some more ancient monuments occupy settlement giant halt is this a unique building no i think this is just one of the buildings that this area might build or as in this characters this army this, this faction that's what i wanted to say that this faction might be able to build rely on us Without delay. We've taken on verse Saint Germain. Protects troops. He gained plus 10% armor and plus 1 to zeal because he's in an area with a forge. Let's see, is there anything else that happened here? No. Or the gold that we have available. Where did we have? I think in North Tambra we had. Yes. Let's upgrade the smithy another level. It's gonna take us eight turns. I don't think we will be able to do this in time. <sighs> yeah, when well, we cannot enact that yet. I wonder if it's gonna be in time for us to fight the invading raiders, but we want to turn away from building the Cathedral of St. Cuthbert and three turns away from building St. Edmund's, giving, giving, us, giving us one of these uh, victory, the fame victory. For our governors, 
give them points into scribes. Let's wait one more turn, see what happens. Okay, so nothing special happened at this moment. He became very influential, so he lost two loyalty, he's at three. Oh, and Laf is becoming quite a pawn in my side. Uh, talented with the bow, experienced haggler, okay. We've managed to construct a bunch of buildings here. So we have a beautiful commercial town who's producing us, that is producing us 2000 gold. Well, we get 600 from it. We're not gonna continue upgrading it. And we've managed to finally construct the cathedral Right here, the Cathedral of St. Cuthbert. Plus 10 to un unit morale province wide. So if we have a battle in the area, we'll be pretty tough. Linden Siege, there's nothing here to upgrade right now. In Winchester, we can actually give some more bonuses. What is the local sea? The local sea is this area. Pretty good if we would have worked, if we were to upgrade our markets, our trading markets. And maybe even better than that, let's have this light fantasy of increasing the public order in the area, like upgrading this capital of ours. More food, sure, let's get more income. We will keep this in. Let's upgrade everything here. We are upgrading this entire area. And maybe even recruit one unit. Success is rewarded. Let's see, what does he want to do? He wants... This man is getting a bit too clever for his own good. People are easier to control if they aren't agitated or indeed educated. If you're not careful, the situation will quickly become unmanageable. So you'd better ensure that seditious thoughts do not cross his mind. So we can lose... We get one influence and lose one loyalty, but we can lose two influence and let him improve our research rate. And why not? It might be hard to control, but nothing of strong 20 stack army can't take care of right by no means for you can't be done Attack. advance over here let's go in Odin's name yes let's not give him any chance to recruit more troops or fight us we want to end the battle we have for this area sure Patron. replenish troops Let's see, if we want to advance, we cannot. We're taking over the settlement. One territory left. That's really nice for us. For you, I want you to move over to this side. Our governor level up, he has good loyalty. We're just gonna give him more points into scribe. And this general... He, he has good loyalty as well. Let's give him more points into command. And let's bring you actually to Northwich. That's what we want to do with you. Maybe even step in one of these towns and... Maybe we should do that with him. We'll see. If we upgrade this area, does it spread around? No, it does not. I hope you are ready to get the fame victory as well. Linden Siege, you're still upgrading. Northwich, you are upgrading. For this area, I let's upgrade the port. Let's have some salt makers. More money, more money or leave it to upgrade that slot there. 
end the turn we will be able to upgrade our archers the next turn and then I'm going to invest in our cavalry Viking invasion Normans a huge Norman invasion fleet has arrived south of Britannia hundreds of ships are quickly approaching the southern shore of Britannia we must destroy before they overwhelm us our kingdom is growing increasingly more famous with each passing year. The streets are full of singing bards and dancing peasants and the noble families are holding many, many a feast honoring us. If we continue on this path, we will be heralded as the greatest king ever to grace this land. Too hard to handle, an educated informed populace is far harder to manage but words of wisdom can reach much further than threats of punishment. So we've gained some fame and we lost some morale. That is okay. He's gained experience from being 50 years older. No. Ooh, no. One, two, three, we four, can't. five, can't six. I have to say, I wasn't expecting a six, six no. armies. Uh, we can move as far as this territory. Gafram is well, is placed we well. I will move the Thunderers over to this side. I am going to approach OSCX just to or Wessex to take over his territory. For you, I am actually going to bring you into one of these towns and try to build an army as quickly as possible. Right, four, let's bring four cav, four archers. We have space, we have space for a bit more. Okay, and two spears. Now let's take off this. And oh, we don't have spears anymore. So I guess I'll keep it at this. That's all the money we have available. <laughs> so, yeah, we're moving closer to the, the coast and replenishing troops and we're bringing this 20 stack army to the south do we have enough money to upgrade this all these troops yeah and now we have the in-law archers and the in-law chain or mailed archers more money let's upgrade them all if we can almost so master of missiles is done if we push one more level, we will get minus one unit, good upkeep, faction wide, minus two replenishment. Ah, okay, so we're pushing into under society, we don't care for. We for spears. Do we care for spears? We might care for spears. But no, let's go for our cap. And let's check what they'll do. If nothing else. We'll Red CX is take offering off us peace, I... we don't care. So, do they spread around or will they just focus their troops on one side? I would recommend focusing. And it seems like it's what they will be doing, almost. So, two of their troops went to the left. Two in the middle. And two to the right. Okay, kings or crosses, to put your stamp on this land, you plan to start minting your own currency. Okay, uh, we want to keep the English happy. Let's stay with them. Gafram became even handed from the thing building chain, giving him plus to, to command. This man always consider what is right and fair when considering his response. That is nice. He's, he became really wise in his advanced age. We will be able to reach most of this coast if he's going to land there. We can't. You and can't we are going to uh, bring these troops closer. Actually, you know what? Let's leave this grand finale for our... It's probably going to be our last episode. At this point, we've achieved the fame victory, right? The short fame victory that we were fighting for. 
we have another cathedral right here in Edmund and that should be about it one more episode guys one more episode and we're finishing our first campaign ever so I thank you very much for sticking around and for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode have a wonderful day